Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video this week. Well, it's been quite the week. I cannot pretend that it feels as though the earth is simultaneously on fire and history is in the making. But I'm not a late night show host, I'm not going to recap current events. However, I do have this channel about slow fashion, so if you're interested in the resources that I'm using to educate myself and address social injustices, I have written a blog post with all of those details. I will link it down in the description box below. So with that being said, grab your tea, grab whatever your beverage of choice is, and let's jump on in. I thought today's video would be a good time to talk about fashion and style myths that absolutely need to be busted and ignored in order for us to continue creating a conscious closet and becoming more conscious consumers. Myth number one is that you have nothing to wear. How many times have you opened your closet and looked at a whole bunch of clothes and said you have nothing to wear? I think we have to change the narrative from I have nothing to wear to I don't know how to wear what's currently in my closet. Or those clothes are not a proper representation of your values and your personal style. Antidotes to not having anything to wear are taking time to plan your outfits. I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, however, being able to spend time and play dress up in your closet can do a world of difference for your creativity. Myth number two is that women of a certain age cannot wear X fill the blank in with whatever silly notion society or people have come up with on this one. Whether it's shorts, skirts, polka dots, bold colors, I've heard a lot. And while I can appreciate and understand that certain things are appropriate where others aren't, I think what it boils down to is that if someone isn't comfortable in what they're wearing because it doesn't match their style or it doesn't flatter their body, then of course it's gonna come, off, come across as inappropriate. And I think that applies to women of all ages. While I totally agree with adjusting your style as you age and your body changes and you move through life, I do not think your age should dictate how you celebrate your personal style or your personal values. Myth number three is that a sustainable or conscious closet has to cost a lot of money. I think that our perception of the true cost of a garment or a pair of shoes has become very skewed with the prevalence of fast fashion. However, I also don't think we need to shop our way to a more conscious closet. There are so many great ways that are affordable to add beautiful pieces that are good quality into your wardrobe while also being a more conscious consumer. Number one is use what you already have. The most sustainable closet is the one you already own. I did not coin this phrase, Orsula de Castro did, so I have to give credit to her. I think it's absolutely genius. Swap parties are another great option. Although they are difficult right now, there are still online vintage stores and online secondhand stores that are up and running, and you can purchase beautiful designer or non-designer pieces that are of excellent quality for a fraction of the cost that you would pay. I have a video all about thrifting and secondhand shopping, so I will leave that down below. The other option, rentals, which again, due to the global pandemic, probably aren't happening right now, but I would highly encourage you to look into what rental companies exist in your country. The circular economy, which includes things like vintage, secondhand, thrift, and rentals, they're becoming more important as we try to limit the use of virgin resources from the planet to make new things. Myth number four is the myth of new things. That idea that has been ingrained in us that if I buy this dress, I will feel amazing and sexy or I'll just feel better if I buy X. While clothing does have such powerful transformative effects on our psyche and how we put ourselves out into the world, we ourselves also have that power. Buying a new pair of running shoes is not going to make me a faster runner. Doing the right training, eating properly, and making it a habit, that's what's going to make me a faster runner. Marketing constructs try to make us feel as though we are not enough. And we always have to purchase that next thing to be enough. And this is a very difficult internal conversation you have to have with yourself. I really do think it's a huge part of having and building a conscious closet and becoming a more conscious consumer. These next myths are a little bit more fashion related. And this one is 
tall women cannot wear heels. I am not of above average height, so I can't directly speak to how I would feel or if I would feel more self-conscious by wearing a pair of heels if I was already quite tall. I think this has so much to do with how you feel and how you want to put yourself out in the world, so I am not judging you if you are tall and you prefer to wear flats. I get it, I am not in your body. However, I just think it's important that we don't shy away from celebrating our bodies. Similarly, I've heard countless times from petite women that they can't wear maxi skirts or dresses, and I believe that petite women can wear these longer, more voluminous pieces. The key, though, is that there is some tailoring and that there's only volume and a larger proportion in one part of the garment. So if you're wearing a maxi dress, that there is a nice fitted silhouette so that the body doesn't get overwhelmed. Perhaps the hem is taken up a little bit so we can get a peek at your ankles and your shoes. There are lots of ways that petite women can pull off maxi skirts and maxi dresses. It's just a matter of knowing how to style and wear them properly. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful start to your week. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!